Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the Black Couture Counselor here. And today on Black Couture Explores, we are going to continue the conversation with Let's Talk. Um, yesterday, um, I felt like my video sat with a lot of people. People reached out, um, people had questions, and I wanna continue the dialogue. Um, I have been sitting in a lot of affinity spaces in the last 48 hours with my colleagues, especially um, being a black person um, in my school that I work at, it was great to sit with other black people and have this conversation. Um, and one thing that has been like the common theme that I'm hearing besides the emotions that are coming is the response of protests. And, um, I wanted to kind of explain my feelings around that. Um, I went to a talk in February to see Joy DeGruy in a more intimate setting through the Department of Health in San Francisco. Um, I actually saw her that December in um, Seattle and it was amazing at the People of Color Conference, but there were thousands of people there and I, I'm so happy that I um, was able to have this experience to sit with her um, in a more intimate setting during Black History Month. Um, one thing that she talked about that has been like on my mind and something that I've been carrying for the past couple months that has really resonated for me was this term axiology. And it is so amazing, so I want to share that with you all. So I'm gonna read the definition so I don't butcher it, but axiology is a branch of philosophy dealing with values as those of ethics, aesthetics, or religion. And I'm gonna break it down for you guys. Axiology is about value, what we value as a race, as a person, what do we value most and foremost? So how she broke it down was Europeans, as the member, they value objects. Afro-Latino, as the member, we value the member, that means the other person. As Asian society or culture, as the member, they value group. As natives, the member, values the spirit. So I just wanted to think about that in the context of protest. As, um, as you know, Black Lives Matter, as people of color, as Black people come together, as white people come and join this movement, we as Black people value the member. We value being around each other. We value the person. And it goes back simply, like when you get invited to the cookout, it might not be your family's cookout, but it's the cookout of your friend's friend, or your mom will sit there and she'll invite her cousin that you call auntie, or your cousin from your daddy's side is coming to the cookout. It's because we value that community, we value that person. When it comes to European culture that we are put into, Europeans value the object. They are taking, um, you know, the bigger things in life and that's what they value, the actual object. So that can be a store, that can be money, um, that could be property, that could be um, land. So they value that object most important. So when it comes to protests, and we are seeing a lot of people who are not Black that are instigating um, this expression of what they think this movement is about. So we're seeing people breaking into Target. We're seeing people breaking into stores. We're seeing, um, you know, intentional things put out so that people can use them to break into businesses, places. And as a Black woman, it's like, we don't want to destroy our own things. That's not what this movement is about. It's about coming together as people and expressing ourselves in that way. And then there are people who are going into and expressing themselves in that way, where they're like, you owe me something, I'm gonna get your attention, and this is how I'm gonna go about it. But I think the response back to 
what I was sitting with in my affinity group was, why are people so mad about, you know, the break-ins at Targets and the break-ins at stores? Um, and then when you look at it, it's the axiology. It's right here. As the European, as the white society, they are valuing their property. They are valuing their stores. So they mad. They are mad that someone else is taking that value away from them. So I wanted to leave you guys with that and think about it. If you guys have questions, I'm not gonna educate you on who Joy DeGruy is, go look her up. Um, but if you have questions about axiology, if you have questions around um, being mad about the looting, if you have questions around how people express themselves, come bring that to me and we can talk about that. But it's the Black Sister Counselor and I'm leaving you with this. See you next time. Bye.